Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 13th, 2020. This is my 16th episode about the programming language C++ 20 standard. In this episode, we will update or install C++ library extension and learn how to use them. If you double click this link, you can visit C++ library extension. If you want to know how to implement the C++ library extension, then you can click these links listed here. If you want to download the C++ library extension, please double click this link. Show in folder, extract the file. In this folder, you can find example folder, also grep folder, these are all examples, also tutorial folder. Here you can find include folder, all source code for C++ extension library reside in this folder. Now copy this folder, copy. In system, devsoft, you can delete existing installation and paste it. Please note that we created in C drive the EV soft this folder in our previous episode. In episode 00, install Microsoft Visual Studio GNU G++ Clang Intel TVV in this episode, we created system devsoft folder. Now, double click this folder, double click this folder, copy the folder path, copy, right click, search, environ, edit the system environment variables, environment variables. If you haven't created CPP extension DIR, this variable, please create this variable and paste the folder path. Also, include, edit, you have to create this folder path. For example, like this. We also need to create another variable. Click new. Paste the folder path. C plus include path. Click OK. So we basically have to set three environment variables. Include CPP extension DIR, C plus include path. Now click OK. Click OK. Please note that CPP extension DIR environment variable is for Visual Studio code. Include is for Microsoft Visual C++ compilers additional include pass. C++ include pass is for GNU G++ and LLVM Clang++ additional include pass. For more information, you can click these links. Now start Visual Studio code. Open your working folder. Select empty space. Click this button, 016, CPP, Library, Extensions, hit enter. Click this button, CPP, LE, dot CPP. CPP LE means C++ Library Extension. Now, Ctrl B, include. Talk play fun, output, 
dot hpp talk play button s stream stream auto and there talk play button and there namespace types talk play button types void test cpp library extensions int main copy the function name paste it here now press ctrl shift p edit configuration select json here quote dollar cpp extension dir fix your code like this also note that we change C++ 20 standard. Please note that I'm using Visual Studio Code version 1.44. Please update your Visual Studio Code to the latest version. Now, Ctrl S, Ctrl W. My machine is very slow. I will restart. Now the skiggle is gone away. Using ht int using weight t double using name t constant character pointer. Of course, you can use std string too. Using people t types container of tuples t. We will use container type std vector age t weight t name t. It should be age using person t people t value type now we define the people t container class of type vector of tuple age weight name container people t can Hold persons of type person t stream person t. We want to know the type of person t. Talk play fun. Get type name person t. And there stream people t talk play fun get type name people t and there and there now we declare an instance of people t people t my class mates my classmates in place back the first person's age is 20 weight is 56.0 kilogram name is thomas kim now i copy once again paste 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 the second person's age is 19 she weighs 60 kilograms her name is Alice Lee. The third student of my class is 18 years old. Weighs 52 kilograms. Her name is Sophie 
Turner. And I have another classmate. He weighs 60 kilograms. His name is Smart Park. Now, stream. My classmates are my classmates. And there. Po oro meet my classmates. Oro reference age weight ni meet stream I am ni we wait age years old. I will put Endel here too. Stream. We are all classmates. And there. Now start command prompt. Please note that we created this command prompt in our previous episode, episode 0. So if you haven't watched this episode, Please watch this video and make command prompt for Visual Studio Code and command prompt for GNU G++ and Clang Compiler. Otherwise, you may not be able to follow my current and future sessions. Now, DIR CD 016 CPP Library Extensions CL EHSC SDD C++ 17 or above CPP LE dot CPP FE colon and dot EXE hit enter CLS M The type of person is tuffle int double character constant people T is contain of tuffle blah 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 my classmates are listed here we are all classmates i am thomas kim weigh 64 20 years old now start this command prompt for gnu g++ and the clan i will fix here kilogram now DIR CD 016 CPP Library Extensions G++ SDD C++ 17 CPP LE dot CPP Don't forget LTVB O G dot EXE Hit enter we built successfully. I will copy this command string, copy, and paste it here for your reference. In case of clang, see, don't forget LTVB. In case of Microsoft compiler, this is the command string. Copy, paste. Now we run it. G. GNU compiler also works correctly. Now with Clang. C. Clang. Hit enter. C. Clang also works. We used vector, but we can use DQ2. I will pronounce it deck. Now container type is deck. We use clan compiler. We can also use list. Now we will try with Microsoft compiler. As you see, Microsoft compiler also works perfectly. CPP extension library is very powerful. We will use this library to learn C++ 20 standard. Before I wrap up this episode, 
I would like to remind you one thing. This UTF-8 encoding can cause problem with Korean characters or other Asian characters like Japanese or Chinese. So instead of UTF-8, click it, save encoding with UTF-8 with a bomb. Please select this option. Also, go to File, Preference, Settings. Type in Encoding. Here, instead of UTF-8, select UTF-8 bomb. Now, Ctrl S, you can close it. Please give like buttons to my videos and leave your questions and comments. You can download the complete source code of current episode by clicking this link. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.